Hi makers! Today I'm going to show you how I make my granny squares and um, I like to use very short tails and I sort of weave them in as I go. This is the wrong side of the granny square and this is the right side. I like um, to try and not waste too much yarn when making my granny squares so I'm going to show you how I do that. So let's get started. We're going to start this granny square off with a magic circle or magic ring but you're welcome to use chain five, slip stitch to join, whichever you prefer. So we're gonna, with leaving a minimal tail here, just a small tail, we're gonna wrap it around our three fingers and there's plenty of tutorials out there to show you how to do this, but we're just gonna get started here and going to create that first chain. And I like to tighten up my circle right away. And we're gonna start with working two more chains once I get my tail sorted out here. Work two more chains. And then we're going to work into the circle here, two double crochets. So yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull your loop through, you have three loops on your hook. Pull, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to create this beginning of the square round one and then I'm going to show you how to attach it. The instructions will be instructions will be in the description below if you want to read those and then you can follow along and meet me back here when we're at the chain three and ready to join. Okay so now we're completing the first part of the first round of the granny square. We're going to finish this off by chaining two and attaching my yarn on that side, attaching to the chain three with a slip stitch. And I like to go through both strands, both loops when I do that. So slip stitch you, yarn over, and there you go. I like to give it a slight sn snug just to tighten up that stitch. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to cut yourself a short tail and then pull that yarn through. Before you start with your next color, we're going to weave in this tail into these three stitches here. So you're just going to insert your hook into the back loop and just pull that yarn through. And I like to do this for about three stitches. And so this tail is pretty already pretty secure. It's not going to go anywhere. So whoops, missed a strand there. And then what you're going to do, you're going to we're going to start the next round by attaching a color different color into one of the other corners and I'll show you how to do that and then we're going to also work over this this tail when we get to this corner. So let's um, get on that other color. So we're going to start the second color by leaving, first of all I like to not start in the same corner space all the time so I'm just going to take another random space so insert your hook into there, place the yarn over your hook and only leave like a small say two inch tail just enough so that you can hang on to to the both strands and pull it through and you're going to work the first stitch so this is a chain three so this with the both loops pull through and you've created your first chain drop the tail and work two more chains so now your yarn is attached you've got your three chains i like to scooch those over and we're going to work two double crochets while also going over that yarn tail. So we're forming the corner here. So we're going to chain two. And I like to just scooch that over so I have some room to place my double crochets. And then I'm gonna make three more double crochets while going over that tail, still going over that tail. I kind of like to just hold it behind the project. And then we're going to chain one. I'm going to put the in the description what the steps are that I'm doing because sometimes, you know, I kind of mess up when I'm crocheting and doing it at the same time. So, so now what we're going to do is we've chained one. We're going to work two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then we're going to be at this tail. 
So I'll show you what to do. So let's work that corner and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we've worked that corner. Here's where that little knot was, okay, that when we finished that previous round. And so, and then you wove in, and here's your tail. So now you're going to chain one, and you're gonna work this corner, and also go, go over that tail. So it's knotted, woven in three stitches, and now you're gonna work over it on this corner. So then you're gonna chain two and three more double crochets in there. So you're gonna do that, continue, chain one, three double crochets, two to, chain two, three double crochets, and then we're gonna attach it to this end. And then I'm gonna show you how to weave in the ends. Okay, so we've arrived at the last corner. We're going to, we've finished the corner. We're gonna chain one and then work a slip stitch into that third chain, making sure you go under both the loops. Slip stitch, just pull through and pull through, give that a little snug, and then chain one and cut your yarn. And just leave, you know, two to three inch tail. And just pull your yarn through. Before you proceed to weaving, I would just, while you've got the hook in your hand, just get into the habit of weaving this tail through the three back loops, working your way over to the corner. The only time that you wouldn't do this is on your final round because that is the round that you're going to use for seaming and we like to keep that round really neat so you would just end with your knot and then weave it on the back here. But in this case we've got a few more rounds to make and now I'm going to show you how to tie up those ends. So to tidy up those ends we're going to first of all let's pull that magic circle a little tighter and this tail is going to be a little longer. So we're just going to weave that in, slip the yarn on your darning needle, and I like to just miss the first stitch and go around these. I don't normally leave this much of a tail, but um, I do in this case. So just go around one complete time and then I usually just um, snug that up and then miss a loop and then go back in the opposite direction for a couple of stitches. Pull that through. Make sure you don't catch the tails like I did. And that's fairly secure. And then you would just snip this tail off. And then I like to just give it a little bit of a just to adjust things and that tail slips right in there and you don't see that from the front or the back of your project. The next tail we're going to do is let's just finish all the pink ones. This one here, okay? So I like to weave in the same color like I wouldn't weave in a pink into the white so I'm going to weave it in to the pink here. If the tail is short like this and you don't you don't want to Put it on your thing because then it's going to come on your needle because it's going to come off. I just slip my needle through the stitch, pinch the yarn tail, stick it in there. It would have been long enough this time to do it, but I'm just showing you how, how you could do it if it was really short. Insert into another stitch, another loop, and just pull that through. And then I would go take your darning needle without attaching the end to it and just weave your darning needle through these bottom stitches here on the magic circle. I just like to pinch it, slip it off the needle, and then just poke it through. Leave a little bit of a slack, a little bit of a loop here, and then you just pull that through. And you can do this a couple times if you like. Insert the darning needle. You can get quite quick at doing this and you know it's a it's great way to save yarn because I hate wasting yarn. Granny squares seem to take up so much yarn you've got so much waste and then you just cut this tail off being careful not to cut your project and then again just ease that out. So for this tail here we've it's quite short so but it's been slip stitch 
work through three stitches and so now what we're going to do is we're going to slip that first stitch there we're going to insert the darning needle through a bunch of these loops pinch it stick it through the eye of the needle leave a little loop and then just pull it through and you can do this probably one more time i used to usually leave a stitch go under this stitch here and then back through and these can get pretty fairly snug so that yarn will not come out and then you can just stick this so you can just stick this yarn tail into this loop leave a little smidge of a loop there and pull it through and then you're just going to snip off that itty bitty little tail and that's it you've barely used wasted any yarn on that and then you would just keep going until you've added the required amount of colors that your pattern calls for and always attaching it the same way working through the stitches and then when your granny square is finished this is the right side Let's see if i can zoom out a bit here this is the right side and the wrong side and it should look as neat on the wrong side as it does on the right side and i hope this helps you and um, saves you a little bit of yarn <laughs>